What's going on, everybody? I'm back with another prize picks and better picks NBA player props video. This one going to be breaking down, giving you guys a five pick over on better picks, a six pick flex on prize picks. We'll break down the six pick flex first on prize picks, and then we'll break down better picks. Second half of the video was able to sweep over on better in the VIP last night, rocking with this five pick. So I do want to give some quick shout outs to some VIP members that cashed in with me. This was the pick that we had. All of these picks were not available on prize picks, guys. We got the over on Faticino, 3.5 rebounds, over on Vucevic, 15.5 points, over on Jalen Green, 29.5 points, rebounds, and assists, over on Terry Rozier, over 4.5 assists, and over on Devin Booker, 33.5 points and assists. Cashing alongside myself, quick three shout-outs before we get into the breakdown. Tommy S. turning 25 into 500. Ed the Fred turning 25 into 500 as well, and Vince 28 turning $2 into 38. Uh, that 19x multiplier taking advantage of his promo funds that he got when he signed up for better picks. You can play all the way down to $1 per slip on better picks. So, as you can see, taking his promo, cashing in on this five pick. None of these were available. Vucevic was all the way up to 16.5 on prize picks. Um, Fonachino's rebounds weren't even available. Jalen Green was bumped to 30 even. Tay Rogier was bumped to 5.0 even. And Devin Booker, Price Picks had his line set at 34 and a half uh, points and assists. So that's what we're doing over in the VIP, right? We're capturing the best possible value we can get. I'm sending in my tickets as soon as I place them. If you are interested and you would like to join, it will be linked below in the description. It is on Patreon. It is patreon.com slash kjk underscore DFS. I get asked all the time what comes with the guys. Just go to the Patreon and it tells you every single thing, right? You get access to all my tickets as soon as I place them for all sports, all apps that I cover. You get the value alerts. Uh, I'm going to rank every single ticket on a five-star unit rating system, my play of the day, my research tab, all of these different things, the community itself. So an example of yesterday, the value alerts, right? Uh, been, these have been cashing at a very high rate lately. So if I see some value in the market, I'm going to alert my VIP right away. Example yesterday, I uh, found some really good value on prize picks early on in the day with the Jabari Smith over 19.5 points, rebounds, and assists. We were looking at minus 160 juice on Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world. So I set that in right away, said to lock it in. You see the results, went out there and put up 26 PRA, so we cashed that. The other alert that I really liked was the Terry Rozier assist that I just pulled up in that better five pick, right? Over five, 4.5 assists, minus 165 juice on the over on Pinnacle. That's crazy good odds. Like, you got to take advantage of that. You're not going to get that every day on these prize picks apps. And as you can see clearly, cleared that with these over 4.5 assists. He went out there and dropped seven dimes in that game, right? So just an example of some of the stuff that I'm offering over there. And then obviously the tickets as soon as I place them, right? So every single ticket that I place, I'm going to send in the VIP right away. So if you're interested, you're listening to the content you're enjoying and you want further content from me, that's going to be where it's at. And let's break it down. I got six fantasy score props for you guys on Price Picks today. They actually have the fantasy score props board posted. If you are new to the channel, I'm going to promote a lot of fantasy score props on Price Picks for this pre-recorded content because the bumps are absolutely crazy on non-fantasy score props. And I do want you to be able to actually tail these picks. Um, so we'll break down Price Picks first. We'll break down better second. Um, better, you can sign up and get your first deposit match up to $500 with the promo code KJKDFS in your first uh, entry, they will allow you to put up $250 sweat free. If it loses, they're going to give you that money back. And prize picks, you can use the promo code KJKDFS to receive your first match up to $100. So let's get into the breakdown. Let's go game by game as you always do. We'll break down the uh, prize picks, fantasy score props that I like first in a six pick flex. And we will start with the Cleveland Cavaliers Washington Wizards game. This game comes in with a 234 over under. It is an 11 and a half point spread in favor of Cleveland. And I want to talk about Evan Mobley. He's a guy that's been returning from injury. I've been targeting his fantasy score quite frequently because he has been limited to right around 26 minutes. The coaching staff's been limiting to, but we're going to continue to see his minutes climb up. And I think he continues to be too low on prize picks this is a guy that's putting up 1.17 fantasy points per minute in the prize picks fantasy scoring format really solid stuff with a 20 percent usage rate he's putting up 37 fantasy points per game on the season now he is playing 32 minutes per game on the season right and they have been limiting his minutes a little bit well, we look at the rotation over these last few games you can see he got all the way up to 28 minutes last time out right so those minutes are starting to ramp up played 21 when he returned on the 29th 22 minutes on the 31st 24 on the third February 5th, we finally saw him ramp up to 28 minutes. It is now February 7th. 
could see those minutes trend up even higher. And he's taken on a Washington Wizards team, which is one of the best matchups you could ask for. The Cleveland Cavaliers have a 220, a 122.75 implied team total. A lot of really good things going for Evan Moby here, right? And I don't think we're going to be able to get his fantasy score at this low of a line for much longer. So we want to be taking advantage right now while we can, while they have him mispriced in the low 30s because of this minutes limit and stuff, right? 32.5. You can see the last two times out, he has absolutely smashed this prop. He's put up 44 and 47, and that's being limited in the minutes. So imagine he starts to get... You know, imagine the coaching staff lets him creep into the 30s this game. He put up 28 minutes last time. I could see them giving him 30 minutes. If he gets 30 minutes, once again, we discuss his fantasy point per minute rate. He's, he's going to be in the 30s, guys, right? Simple math here, 1.17 fantasy points per minute. That's over a fantasy point per minute. And if he's in the 30s, you know, that's going to put him in the mid-30s, upper 30s, and fantasy points real quick, as he's done the last couple times out, and that's while being limited. We look at how he's getting the job done the last two times out. I mean, these game logs are fantastic. Contributing in every category, 14 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 block, 2 steals, 11 points, right? So he didn't even have a good scoring game. Time prior, went off in the scoring category. He had 28 points, 3 assists, 10 rebounds. Didn't even get any blocks and steals. So he can get you the blocks and steals. He can get you the points. He can assist as a big. These are all fantastic things. If you're not familiar with the prize picks fantasy scoring format, you're going to get one point for every point, 1.2 for every rebound, 1.5 for every assist, three for every block, and three for every steal. So the blocks and steals certainly do add up quick. And then when you have a big that's able to pass the ball and distribute like Mobley as well, that's a big bonus. Those 1.5 uh, fantasy points can add up quick for you as well. So... Evan Mobley, fantastic play here to start things off in the video today for the six-pick flex. We're going to be rocking with his over 32.5 fantasy score for pick number one. Pick number two, we'll kick it on down to the next game. Uh, it's going to be the San Antonio Spurs taking on Miami Heat. We have another fantastic fantasy point per minute producer. Absolutely ridiculous in the prize picks fantasy scoring format, and that's Victor Wembanyama. We look at the top centers on a per minute rate on this slate it is victor leading the way and it's not even close 1.66 fantasy points per minute he is putting up 46.6 fantasy points per game with a 31 percent usage rate that once again leads all centers playing around 28 minutes per game he's been a guy they've been a little bit uh restrictive of with his minutes throughout the season you know there were some times where we were seeing only play like 20 minutes per game they really dialed it back he was dealing with a little bit of injuries. We've now seen that creep back up, though, right? So Wemby, 27, 28, 30, 31, 30 minutes, respectively. He's going to get right around 30 minutes in competitive games. This uh, Cleveland squad, well, sorry, different game, but he played Cleveland last time out. This Miami Heat squad, it's an eight-point spread in favor of them. 227 over under. Miami is on the second half of a back-to-back. -back. I do think that could help keep this game close. Spurs aren't exactly the most... Talented team, they're still young and learning, but if the game stays close and Victor gets his full allotment of minutes, I do have him going over here once again. Uh, we talk about those blocks and steals, those three points you get, right? Victor is a blocks and steals machine. He can score, he can rebound, he can do it all, right? But those blocks and steals is where the upside gets ridiculous with this guy. I mean, look at these game logs, bro. It's, it's really ridiculous. 14 rebounds, three assists, two blocks, two steals, 19 points. 14 rebounds, 7 assists, 3 blocks, 2 steals, 16 points. 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 5 blocks, 2 steals, 21 points. 5 blocks and 2 steals. That is 7. You're getting 3 for every one of those. That's 21 fantasy points. And he hasn't even done anything else as far as scoring, rebounding, or anything. It's just blocks and steals, right? So that's what this guy does. It's really ridiculous. I continue to have him projected over. As he has gone over in each of his last five games, he's averaging 51.6 over those last five. And there's just so many different ways for him to get you there. Like I said, right? The blocks and steals upside. He's a guy that's capable of going out there and, you know, dropping 40 points if he so chooses to help us out in that category. But he is a fantasy score monster in the prize fix fantasy scoring format. I do have him projected over here once again. As far as my latest projection on Mr. Wemby, now keep in mind, guys, fantasy scores, it's not going to be that much of a differential on your, your projection, right? So I'm going to try to throw out some actual numbers for you guys so you can kind of get a visual perspective on, like, the edge, right? It's not going to be too high, but I got to project it to get, like, 47 or so fantasy points from a base. Price is setting a base right in the middle. His ceiling is all the way above 50, right? But his floor 
is like in the lower 40s actually, which is really good for this prop. I'm not going to lie. That's the fact that I have him as that high of a floor is quite ridiculous. Evan Mobley, who we discussed earlier, uh, I have his floor right around like the mid-20s. So that's a good example of like Evan Mobley goes out there and has a bad game. You know, he's going to be down in the mid-20s. But I have his base projection um, set higher and his ceiling is way higher than 32, as we've seen the last two times out when he's been in the 40s, right? I have his ceiling being like 50 fantasy points. So this is what this is the game we play with these fantasy score props, right? Just to kind of give you a, a clear idea of how this works. And then the other guy that I like in this game is going to be Terry Rogier. Terry Rogier is coming over to Miami Heat. He's got himself a nice little role in this team. Uh, going to a little bit more of a talented team than the Charlotte Hornets. No offense to them, but Terry Rogier is playing in the mid 30s, really carving out a role. 31 minutes last time out against an Orlando team. That game did turn into a blowout. Once again, they're on the second half of a back-to-back. -back. That doesn't hurt our feelings. Get him on the bench early. Get him rested up for the second half. He's been playing right around 30, all the way up to 38 minutes in some games, right? So expect him to play right around 30 to mid-30s. His fantasy point per minute production, now he was on a different team most of the season. Obviously, guys, so these rates are going to change, but it just does give us an overall scope of like what this guy's can, capable of. And he's putting up right around 1.11 fantasy points per minute. So once again... A little over one fantasy point per minute, right? 34.5 minutes per game on the season. 38 fantasy points per game. He's getting in the upper 30s. He is on a little bit of a different team, a little bit of a different role. But the bottom line is he's putting up a little over one fantasy point per minute. He's in a great matchup against the Spurs team that's not good defensively whatsoever. And if he gets his 30 minutes, you know, he's going to go out there and probably score in the mid-30s. And Price Picks has him set too low. They've got him set at 31.5, right? So we're looking for him to do exactly what he's, this is what he's been doing. 33.7 over the last five. He's been on the heat for quite some time, right? It's, you know, look at the chart. It's 32, it's 32.1, it's 36.9, it's 37.7. All the math adds up. It makes perfect sense for this guy's fantasy point per minute rates. It's probably going to be in the mid 30s. They've got him priced in the low 30s. Just too low of a pricing. Let's go ahead and take advantage. Let's lock it in. Uh, for... Pick number three. Aha. See, I've been wondering how I can select these without having to um, highlight the more or less. And it clearly is by pulling up the last five charts first. So I'm going to do that for now on. Evan Mobley is our first guy for number one. As far as number two is concerned, we talked about Mr. Wemby for number two. Number three. We like running it back on the other side with Tay Rogier. Got him priced too low. Um... And then for number four, we're going to talk about this. Uh, if they're still on the board, let's hope they are. Yes, they are. We're going to be talking about this Boston Celtics Atlanta Hawks game. DeJounte Murray did get ruled as questionable, so the Hawks got pulled off the board, which is a little bit unfortunate because I did like some props on the Hawks side. But I do like a guy on the Celtics side that, once again, is priced too low in Jalen Brown. 128.25 implied team total for their team. Massive implied total. Jalen Brown. His fantasy point per minute rate stuff is really solid. We're looking at the small forward position. He's putting up 1.12 fantasy point per minute. It's trend of the video. It seems like all these guys are putting up like a little bit over one besides of when besides Wemby, who's way higher than that. But he's got 28% usage rate, 38 fantasy points per game. He's putting up 33.2 minutes per game. We look at the Celtics rotation as far as how he's getting lately. They've been involved in They've been involved in a lot of blowouts this year. They're such a good team, but in competitive games, we're looking at that 36, 37 minutes mark, right? And if he plays 37, 36 minutes in this type of a game environment, it's expected to fly with the 244. We look at the projected pace in this one. Everything's looking real pretty for us. It's the second highest implied pace on the slate, trailing only that Cavs and Wizards game that we discussed with a 100.7 pace metric. Jalen Brown is once again going to score in the upper 30s, right? 1.12 fantasy points per minute, 28% usage rate. That's going to put him, you know, right up there, 38, 39, 40 fantasy points on average, especially we factor in the game environment, right? That's going to help our case even more, and they have him priced in the mid-30s, 35.5, right? So I got him going out there and getting like 38. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy for his production. It's right on, you know, par for the course. That's usually what he's going to do. A little bit of a versatility going on with him because the Celtics do have a lot of guys that can uh, cut into the usage. Drew Holiday is listed as questionable though, right? So if you go ahead and lock this in and we get news that Drew Holiday's out, that should help his case even more. Uh, I do have him projected over regardless. Um, 
and Jalen Brown is going to be the next pick here, right? 35.5 fantasy score. And Wemby got bumped right now as I'm recording, so that sucks, but I'm still going to promote the play. He's not 45.0. If he doesn't clear the 45.0 uh, line, we won't count it as a dub for the video because I can't control the bumps, but I do still have him going over, guys. So I'll give you that answer right now because there's going to be people that leave a comment of, would you still take us over? Yes, I've got him in the upper 40s. They've got him in the mid 40s, right? So I'm taking this prop. Still taking the prop, okay? So that's going to be one, two, three, four, and then the last two will make pretty quick because they're on the same team in the same game. It's going to be James Harden. It's going to be Paul George. This Clippers team has, a, once again, a massive total similar to the Celtics. Games expected to stay close with a six and a half point spread, 119 implied total for the LA Clippers, and both really, really solid fantasy point per minute producers that are misrepresented on prize picks, in my opinion. 1.17 fantasy points per minute for Harden with that 20% usage rate, 34.4 minutes per game. Then we go down to Mr. Paul George. He leads all small forwards on the slate above Jalen Brown with a 1.14 fantasy point per minute metric. 26% usage rate, 39.4 uh, fantasy points per game, 33.9 minutes, right? So this LA Clipper squad, very, very solid rotation. That's what we love to see. We don't want to be guessing if our guys are going to get taken out of the game, right? We have to deal with enough with the foul trouble and the blowout risk and all this other stuff we're dealing with that could possibly cut into our upside. We don't want to be dealing with random benching of the players in the three guys that we know are going to be playing no matter what are James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, and Paul George. 38, 42, 34 minutes here for Harden last three times out. You can see Kawhi's getting in the upper 30s, and then Paul George, mid-30s as well. 32, 33 minutes. They last played on the 5th, so they had a nice day off. Should be nice and well-rested here. And against a Pels team in a good game environment, I once again have these guys going over. Okay, so James Harden, 37.5. I've got him going out there and getting 40-plus. Um too low in my opinion, James Harden. I got getting like 43 or so tonight. And then when we look at Paul George, I got him going out there and getting like 36 right around where James Harden is set. And Paul George is in the lower 30s, right? So let's go ahead and take advantage of uh, these two props to round us out here. And that will be our price picks entry, right? So... Mobley at 32 and a half. We're taking the over. Terry Rozier, 31 and a half. We're taking the over. Victor Wembayamba did get bumped, unfortunately, uh, but we'll still take the over there. Jalen Brown, 35.5 fantasy score over. James Harden, 37.5 fantasy score over. And Paul George, 32.5 fantasy score over. I did lock this in. I did send it into my VIP members as well prior to coming on the recording here for you guys so i'm back in the place to you guys i'm back in the place to my vip and i'm also locked in myself all right guys i'm gonna say it a thousand times because it's just the truth you will never hear me promote a play on the channel that i'm not playing myself okay so as you can see victor Wambiamba did get bumped since i placed this i'll pull it up on my screen to prove to you that i locked it in myself as well let's refresh make sure my entries are refreshed here and let's go to the six pick slip okay so evan mobley over 33.5 fantasy score victor Wambiamba over 44.5 fantasy score tay rogier over 31.5 fantasy score jalen brown over 35.5 fantasy score james harden over 37.5 fantasy score and paul george over 32.5 fantasy score. These are the best available fantasy scores on the board right now. The market's going to change. I'm sure I'll have more picks as we go along the day. And second, let's go ahead and give you guys a better picks five pick. We're going to make this very simple. We're going to pull up my phone and make it quick and straight to the point for you guys. Because essentially, it's pretty easy to sum up. There's good value on better picks that we can't get on prize picks, right? So there are certain props that have been bumped on prize picks that I know that we can lock in on better picks that have not been bumped. So I'll try to go game by game here, if at all possible, off the top of my brain. I had them all highlighted, and the Better Picks app likes to log me out. So now we have to make sure they're still available, but they should be. We'll pull them up on the prize picks board and you will quickly see that these have all been bumped so the first one's going to be Emmanuel quickly the second one's going to be RJ Barrett 
The third one is going to be Jakob Podol. Um, the and five pick entries are optimal on better picks, so we're going to lock in a five pick, okay? As far as the optimal slip types on both of these apps we covered today, if you're not aware, the optimal slip type for long-term profit on prize picks is going to be five and six pick flexes. You're paying minus 119 implied odds. This is also another thing that I supply on my VIP, the university. There's a bunch of different lessons for you to scroll through and learn all different things, hit rates, what you need to succeed long-term on certain apps. Better picks, the best possible slip for you to be placing is a five pick entry at minus 122 implied odds. So that's exactly why we're going to lock that in. And once again, there are no pushes on better picks. There are only bumps. So we can take advantage of props that have already been bumped on prize picks that we can get that edge on better picks because it is not a push. We're getting that 0.5 edge that we can't get on prize picks. Okay. So those are going to be our first three. And our next one's going to be Zion uh, PRA. And our last one is going to be Kawhi Leonard points. And why am I highlighting these on prize picks? Because on prize picks, every single one of these plays has been bumped to take away the value on which prop is favored, right? So better picks, they'll match up to $500, promo code KJKDFS. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my, my uh, phone right now, and we will lock these in together, and I'll explain exactly why we're getting better value on uh, better picks than price picks. That's pretty simplistic, because you're going to see as I pull up the lines that they have been bumped on Price picks, but not on better picks. Okay, so the first one is going to be, let's refresh this to make sure we're up to date here. It's going to be Emmanuel quickly, right? We pull up his uh, prop on better picks. You can see he's at 16.5. So he, he has not been bumped to that push line on better picks that he's on price picks. We're getting the edge that we can't get on price picks on better picks. That's why we're going over here. We're taking advantage of all laps. Second pick's going to be RJ Barrett. He got bumped up to 30.5 before I went on the recording, so we can no longer place that. I got him at 29.5, so we're going to have to pivot. I do have multiple pivots available, so I will be quick on my feet. And we'll give you guys another play. Don't you worry. Unfortunately, there's another good prop that's not even available on the prize picks board. Um, it's going to be Terrence Mann, and it's going to be his PRA. And there's some good value on the over 10 and a half. Prize picks, you can see, they don't even have his um, PRA listed on the prize picks board. A lot of times when you see that, honestly, guys, it's because there's too much edge in the prop. So rather than listing the PRA, they're just going to go ahead and list the points, the blocks and steals of the turnovers, right? But we can lock this in on better. Once again, his line is set at 10.5. We're looking at good value across the market on his over, and we can't get this on price picks. So let's go on over to better picks and take advantage of the value where we can get it here. Zion Williamson, hopefully he hasn't been bumped up either. Okay, you can see he's at 31.0 on price picks. They've already gone ahead and bumped it because there's value in the over 30.5, right? But we can get to 30.5 on better picks, right? So those are two picks that have been bumped. Jakob Podol was the other guy we were going to discuss who's already been bumped on prize picks. We're looking at good value on his rebounding props. So we'll go ahead and lock him in over 8.5 rebounds on better picks. As you can see, he's been bumped to 9.0 on prize picks. Kawhi Leonard, we're looking at value on the under 27.5 points prop for him. As you can see, he's been bumped down to 27.0 even on prize picks. They've gone ahead and they've taken the value out of the prop. They've said there's too much value on the under. So rather than putting it at 27.5, we're going to make it at 27.0 even to make it harder on our users to beat us. Kawhi Leonard, we can get at 27.5 on better picks, right? So that's one, two, three, four. And the last guy that I mentioned, like I said, he's not even available on the prize picks board is going to be Terrence Manns over 10.5 points, rebounds, and assist. All right, guys, so that's going to be our five pick for better picks today. We got the over 16.5 points on Emmanuel quickly. Once again, as you can see, he has been bumped on um, prize picks, right? So why are we going to take the 17.0 on prize picks when they've already bumped it and they've already taken the value out of the prop and we can go over to better picks and we can get it at the 0.5 discount. It makes no sense to be placing this on prize picks, okay? 
Jacopodal, same story. He's at 8.5 on better picks. We can go ahead and take advantage of that value where he is not bumped. Zion Williamson, over 30.5 points, rebounds, and assists. Same thing, has not been bumped on better picks, right? Kawhi Leonard, we can see he's the 27 even on prize picks because there's value on the under 27.5. So why are we going to take it on prize picks? We can go over to better picks and lock it in there and get a better value. And lastly, Terrence Mann, 10.5 points, rebounds, and assists. This is a phenomenal prop that is favored across the industry. Minus 135 over on uh, BetMGM, minus 135 over on Caesars, minus 143 over Bet Online, minus 145 on the over on Fliff. All these books are favoring his over. He is not available on prize picks, but he is a good play. So we will go ahead and lock this in. I'm going to do $50 to win $1,000. That is my unit size. Whatever your unit size is, lock it in, guys. Okay. And, uh, Let's try to win some money. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to lock this in. And then I will pull it up on the screen after it is submitted so that you guys can see I did place it. Hopefully my phone works flawlessly here on my plug and play. And we can lock in and try to win on better tonight. I've been having difficulties with this phone connection all morning. Why won't you project? All right, guys, so we're locked in. We got the over 16.5 points on uh, Emmanuel quickly. We have the over 8.5 uh, rebounds on Jakob Podol, over 30.5 points rebounds and assists on Zion Williamson, under 27.5 points on Quiet Leonard, and the over 10.5 points rebounds and assists on Terrence Mann. It's a five-pick entry. You can put all the way down to $1, so whatever your bankroll uh, is, you know, whatever your unit size is, go ahead with that. Just because I'm putting 50, do not do 50 if that is a lot for you. If you can do the 50, perfect. Fantastic. I'm backing it as well with you. And that will be our five pick on better picks. So quick review of that, quick review of the prize picks, and then I'm going to bounce out of here. Sixteen point Over 16.5 points on Emmanuel quickly, over 8.5 rebounds on Jacopoto, over 30.5 points, rebounds and assists on Zion Williamson, under 27.5 points on Kawhi Leonard, and over 10.5 points, rebounds, and assists on Terrence Mann will be our better pick slip uh, for today. And our prize picks, six pick flex, is going to be as follows. You can see on the screen, over the fantasy score on these gentlemen. Mobley, Lemon Yamba, Tay Rozier, Jalen Brown, James Harden, and Paul George. If you liked the content, if you enjoyed, would be greatly appreciated. If you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell on your way out the door. If you want access to every single one of my picks as soon as I place them, the premium content is going to be where it's at. It's going to be linked below in the description. Thank you for tuning in. Wishing you all the best of luck tonight on your prize picks, NBA player props, on your better picks, NBA player props, and we will see you in the next one.